Are you looking for the ultimate crowd control tool while battling waves of enemies in Onslaught? Well, guess what? It's time for Stasis to Shine. Matt goes Buck here, and today we are going to talk about Stasis Warlock and the exotic bow Vergla. Since there aren't any DPS checks in Into the Lights game mode Onslaught, it's all about playing into crowd control builds, and Stasis Warlock when paired with Osmiomancy Gloves and the Vergla bow does it pretty much the best. But enough rambling, let's get into the build. Our exotic pairings for this build, as you might have noticed, is going to be Osmiomancy Gloves and the exotic bow Vergla. Quickly going over our two exotics, Osmiomancy Gloves grants your Cold Snap Grenades an additional charge that recharges quicker on direct impact. The Seeker spawn from Cold Snap Grenades travel further. Cold Snap Grenades have better tracking, travel 35% further, and grant grenade ability upon hitting or freezing an enemy. And the Verglot Bow has an exotic perk called Hail Barrage. Final blows with this weapon grant stasis arrows. Your next hip fire shot will fire all of them in a single volley. And Hailstorm, direct hits with stasis arrows freeze combatants. Stasis arrows that impact the environment create stasis crystals. And the Catalyst grants Shiver Quiver, which grants faster draw speed after slowing or freezing an enemy. Now for the mods on your helmet, Thermodynamic Siphon, which combines Solar Siphon and Stasis Siphon, Special Ammo Finder, and Special Ammo Scout. Arms will be fastball so you can throw your stasis turret farther, bolstering detonation which grants class ability energy when you cause damage with a grenade, and momentum transfer which reduces your melee cooldown when you cause damage with a grenade. Chest is melee damage resistance to give some DR against close range enemies and double void resistance to help against tormentor one-shotting you. Legs are innervation picking up an orb of power grants grenade energy and better already recuperation which fully heals you when you pick up an orb of power. Lastly, your bond will be Reaper, which guarantees an orb on kill after popping your rift, and Double Bomber, which gives grenade energy when you pop your rift. Stat goals for the build will be 100 Resilience and 100 Discipline, with your next main priority being Recovery for a quicker rift cooldown. Weapons loadout will obviously be the Vergla Exotic Bow as your primary, Cartesian Coordinate as your energy, my role is the one from Banshee not too long ago and has lead from gold, Vorpal, and a charge masterwork, and unwavering duty LMG with subsistence and killing tally for your heavy slot. For the boss rooms, you can swap your heavy to god roll crafted Apex Predator with reconstruction and bait and switch. Your energy and heavy really are preference, however I like solar this season for obvious artifact perk reasons. Speaking of the artifact perk, there are some ways to set it up to make this build shine even more. Going in order of the columns, you're going to want to start with Unstoppable Bow, Flame Fiber and Freeze, Kindling Trigger, Flint Striker, Torch, Pillar of Ice, and Hail the Storm. Overload Rockets and Argent Ordnance if you are opting to use Apex Predator. Moving on to how to set up the subclass Shade Binder, the super is obviously going to be the only option we have. Abilities will be Healing Rift, Burst Glide, Penumbral Blast, and Cold Snap Grenade. Aspects will be Ice Flare Bolts, Shattering a Frozen Target, Spawn Seekers that Track and Freeze nearby targets, and Bleak Watcher, Press and Hold your Grenade button to convert your grenade into a Stasis Turret that fires slowing projectiles at nearby targets. Fragments will be Whisper of Durance, slow that you apply to targets to last longer for the abilities that linger, their duration will also increase, this directly affects your stasis turret. Whisper of Chains, while you are near a frozen target or a friendly stasis crystal, you take reduced damage, this also grants plus 10 recovery. Whisper of Torment, you gain grenade energy each time you take damage from targets, which means quicker stasis turret cooldowns. And lastly, Whisper of Shard, Shattering a Stasis Crystal boosts your grenade recharge rate. If you like this video, drop a heart, don't forget to subscribe, and turn those notifications on. See you next time.